This is a podcast for the Nuffield Department of Medicine. Today we spoke to Professor Francois Nostin about his research at the Shoklo Malaria Research Unit in Thailand. Hello Francois. Hello. How big a problem is malaria at the Thai-Burma border? Well, in terms of number of patients, it's not a very big problem. There are not so many patients, but it's uh, because of the high grade of drug resistance that it is a very significant problem because the parasite that causes malaria here on the Thai-Burma border are the most resistant that you can find in the world. And so it, it's, it's quite a, a serious problem because it can spread beyond the, the area and uh, as it has done before and then become the problem of everyone else. Why is it important to combine healthcare delivery with research there? In this context, it's quite important uh, because we can translate uh, the result of the research directly into practice. And so for the people, it's uh, beneficial. And for the researcher, it's um, uh, rewarding. Combining research and healthcare in, um, in, in this research unit has, been, um, has proved to be a very good synergy um, between, uh, between the two activities. Um, but, uh, of course, it's double the work uh, because we have to do, at the same time, clinical trials and research, but at the same time provide healthcare to the population. Can you tell us a bit about your research? Well, uh, the research that we have carried out in uh, Thailand for the last 30 years uh, has been mainly on infectious diseases, uh, mainly malaria, which was the, the major problem when we started. Um, and um, concentrating on prevention, epidemiology, treatment. Uh, a big bulk of the work has also been on maternal and child health uh, because of the very high mortality and morbidity in pregnancies. So we've concentrated on uh, delivering safe um, services for safe deliveries in, uh, for the pregnant woman but also do, did a lot of studies on the treatment of malaria, um, which as everyone knows is uh, particularly bad in pregnancy. What are the most important lines of research that have developed in the past five or ten years? In the past uh, five or ten years, the most important part of research uh, probably on uh, resistance in plasmodium falciparum to drugs, and in particular the emergence of artemisinin resistance, which is a very serious threat to, uh, to the control of malaria worldwide. So we've spent a lot of time uh, documenting it, studying it, and trying to understand it and combat it. Um, I would put uh, after that the, the work on the uh, maternal health, um, work on treatment of malaria in pregnancy, uh, which is um, very difficult because drugs are usually not used in pregnant women. Um, so there are very few places in the world where uh, studies are being conducted on the uh, treatment of infectious diseases in pregnancy. And, and number three would be the, uh, the focus on, uh, on, uh, on the other infectious diseases, respiratory infections in children. Um, but the the bulk of the, the major research st uh, program uh, study that we've done are, uh, is on the uh, cohort study, longitudinal studies involving uh, patients that we can follow for a certain period of time. Um, and that's where the strength of the unit is, is being able to conduct uh, these population studies in large numbers. Why is your research important? Why should we put money into it? I think this research is important because uh, we are in an area of high uh, drug resistance in malaria. Uh, so whatever uh, result we can get into uh, that contributes to improve the treatment or understand the mechanism of disease will be beneficial elsewhere. In terms of maternal health, uh, it's a big priority for the developing world, the health of mothers and uh, infants. And again, by being able to uh, study in detail and follow a large number of pregnant women throughout pregnancy, we are in a position to 
to study uh, the effect of the disease and how to prevent them um, in a way which is rarely found in the tropics. How does your research fit into translational medicine in the department? Well, I think that the best example of uh, translational medicine uh, from, from the work that we've done is the, it comes from the artemisinin combination therapy, which we pioneered in the 90s and we are finally adopted as a standard treatment worldwide uh, in the early 2000. Uh, so this work has provided most of the evidence that was needed to, um, to assess the efficacy and uh, prove the safety of this uh, and the effect on malaria transmission in, in one area. So, of course, locally the translation is uh, almost uh, immediate because we, as soon as we have result, we, we can use the, the new regimen to in the population. But in a larger scale, it has influenced the uh, national malaria program in the in the in the region, in Thailand, in Vietnam, in Cambodia, and also at the well, at the global level with uh, changes in the uh, treatment guidelines at WHO. Thank you, Francois.